I'm so excited today to introduce Dr. Julia Hackney and to join in the What inspired me to organise these workshops was a, a need to really think about the way in which we use our buildings. As the foundation principal, it was really great to be handed over these beautiful state-of-the-art facilities, but it's not in my training, it's not in our teachers' training um, to learn properly about how to use them. It made sense to go back to the original designers of the school. You can actually sort of develop a number of these functions. I think the yeah. role of architects in contemporary learning is really important. First of all, don't get in the way. Contemporary education design is based on pedagogy. We've got to first work out what learning we want, and why we want it, what it means for different individuals and how we're going to resource that learning and then we say well how can we get the environment to work towards that. That's a running space for preschool. I'm really excited about the teaching staff that we have here at Evelyn Scott School. They already have shown great uh, bravery and courage in using the spaces. Well, we've kind of designed a, a hub in the middle of the learning spaces. They can still monitor and look over all the groups without actually having to be imposing. So we sort of utilise that as being a space where it's still connected to the main Working in a, in a space that's so um, in touch with both the environment it's in but also allows for students to have a voice um, in how their learning is done is going to completely change my world around a very rigid classroom setup that was before. I thought the workshop was refreshingly practical, especially when we were able to actually make a model of a setting. That's the most helpful thing. I'm most excited about getting kids in the space, I guess, the spaces that we've designed, actually finishing the initial idea and getting the kids in, um, seeing what they think of it. You've got the concepts flowing about what you want to do. Now as you start to work with it, to uh, move the furniture where you want and everything, it'll, it'll all emerge and then you'll keep adapting and reflecting. People ask, is the classroom dead? Um, what I would like to say is the space that constitutes a classroom is not dead. It's not either or. So we do need that, but we don't need only that.